Cheers, friends, and welcome to another episode of Generation Zero Tag Team a Playthrough with our twin sisters, Inga and Greta. I am the Bonsai Butterfly, and you can see our lovely Inga is ready to go. She is a sneaky character build. She is the survivor build. Let's see where she is. You can see loud and clear. Locate the radio mast near Hagaboda. And that's where we're going. We will find out where we are. Let's see. We start out at Albi Church where Greta just went through and got into this bunker in our previous episode. Now we must climb this mountain and find out what's going on up here at this facility. We've located it at a number one here. Let's see what she's packing. She has the AG-5 ready to go and the level 5 granat. We also have the clock, which we should assign to its spot. Plenty of ammunition. Let's get the emergency flares where they are. They're in a good spot. The grenades, yes. Simple first aid kits equipped and the standards also equipped. Let's see her skills. You can see in the survival build, she is already got the commando. She is there. And in the next few levels, we're going to probably be putting more into her sneakiness. However, it would also behoove us to give her some of these as well. So I'm kind of in a toss up exactly what to do with the next few levels. However, I really like her being sneaky. She can sneak into places that others cannot get to. She is not a combat person, though, and it is tougher for her to level up, so we need to do more missions with her and engage her in some more combat. You can hear in the distance that there is a rather large robot in the area, so let's join the skirmish. Inga is ready, and she's going to get down into her normal sneaky position. Where we need to go this time is the opposite of where we went last time. So let's head out back and find out what is out here. It is nighttime here in Sweden. But we can hear some harsh robots. Good, good. Let's take a look from here real quick and see if there's anything we might want to grab. Take the emergency flare, sure. I think what we're hearing over this side is a harvester. What's this now? Come on, give us some goodies. We'll take that and the emergency flare. We don't need the thread, we've got piles of goodies. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's do it. Let's smack this little bugger. If the granat we missed completely. <laughs> Let's try again. Again. attack was devastating. What do we have? We have some steel. Advanced. Overwind. All kinds of things. Okay. On we go. Get back in your sneakiness. Turn off that flashlight and let's continue. We were fortunate there in that it didn't call in any hunters. Well, I suppose that could be fortunate or unfortunate. Not sure which. I do hear hunters off to my right in some way. 
No. And something about Inga being sneaky, all of her guns are silenced weapons, so she does not attack with a lot of power. But she does gain a bonus with that commando specialization. So as we come up on here, we need to change out. The Granat Gavar was great for taking out that harvester, but now we're moving in on some more delicate operations here. We need to find out what is causing this radio mast up here to malfunction and try to... There's the mast. And try to free communications across Sweden so that we can at least come up with some sort of defense about what's going on. And we see some bad boys around here. Yes. Ooh, sorry about that, folks. Okay, there is a hunter. There are runners also, at least one. Where there's one, there's more. Yeah, right, there's another one. But she is sneaky. That looks like where we need to be. It is locked. Now... Who do we take on first? We take on that hunter first. Let's move a little closer, shall we? Get behind this tree right here. Keeping in mind her strength is sneaky. Controlling the spray at this distance with this rifle is difficult. So we're going to try and get a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. I don't see anything explosive up here that I can use as a trap on these guys. But you'll notice that we have so far been undetected. Okay, there is a gate right there. And it seems the robots are on that side of the gate. All right. Stay behind this. Success. Now let's do some looting. Explosive round. Very rare to get one of those, but we got one anyway. All right, get around to the gate. <clears throat> something's attacking us, and I suspect that that something is a tick. Aha, he was outside the gate, wasn't he? Well, we'll take all of his bullets. Grab this as well. Well, maybe we won't. <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's inside, locked inside here. All right, then. Find a means to unlock the storage. Hmm. Warning? Not there. Hmm. be in this shed. There are some things in here. What do we have around here? Let's 
seems it's going to be down the road a bit. And probably, yes, we need to come down here. Let's take a look at what is down there. I don't see any bots in the vicinity. So let's head on down there really quickly. The key should be in one of these police cars. Keep your eyes peeled there, Inga. Yes, there is... Oh, we're going to take care of that also. We have the storage key. We can do it. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I do want to go... Destroy that. Oh, what is this? A pistol. Another pistol. Is it? Let's take a look and see. Ooh, it's a five star. <laughs> Let's load her up with that. Ooh, yeah. Um, okay. Extended mag? Yes. Muzzle of the silencer, yes. I don't think there's a sight on it. And that should put this one. Oh, very nice. Now, you see a Phoenix class. Oh, but we need to take that out. Let's do it. I see some smoking runners down there. Again, girl, sneak again. Let's go see what goodies there may be in this harvester. And all oh, these runners, we also wrecked them as well. Nice explosive rounds. It took us five to destroy it, and we've got four back. Very nice. Armor piercing SMG, very nice for her. We don't use those bullets any longer. Or those, no thanks, come on now. All right, 
Well, let's head back to where we were. The mission we that is at hand. There were two other runners. Let's go check those as well while we're at it. These guys came up on us, but we took care of them. Here they are. What do you got there, buddy? Oh, yeah, we'll take that. And I believe there's another one over here somewhere. Well, maybe there was, maybe there was not. Let's just keep on looking around here a little bit. Is this the one? Nope, this is the one here. Yeah, FM, yeah. Full metal jacket, we'll take that. Let's re-equip the SMG and let's head on over here. Now, I think for this job, the SM SMG is all we're going to need. Hopefully. Well, before we do that, let's check this guy here. He did shoot at us. Some buckshot. Okay. All right. Stand back. Now I gotta go use the police radio to see that everything is okay. Gosh, it's a long way to level 14 for Inga. And on we go. Ooh. What do we see down there? Is that... Uh, yeah. A roving band of hunters. Well, let's check this out real quick. And maybe we'll go after those hunters as well. Capitan, what is contact? Hello. This is Sergei Kuznetsov, Lieutenant of the Soviet Navy Corps at Ruzhny. We may have limited contact, so please listen. The Soviet Navy has been monitoring the situation in Sweden and together with NATO, we are offering assistance. We believe we have identified the source of the aggressor and can provide a device to disable the machines. We will deliver this device to the estate of Fulmosted on the northern coast. Please proceed there immediately. More intel will be provided on site. Repeat, the jetty at the estate of Fulmosted West of Haga border. We will provide a device to... So the Soviet Navy has a device that could help Sweden in its hour of need. A device that will destroy the robots? Something that could help us? Well, we definitely want to check that out. We definitely would like their help. Now, for a lot of folks, they believe that the Soviet Union was actually invading Sweden, and it seems... As though that is not the case. No, I'm not so sure about that. But we need to find out. But first of all, there was this group of hunters out here. Look at them. Look at them. They've got some seekers. There's a little town down there. Well, should we start shooting at them and get them up here? Should we get their attention? Yeah, I think we should. Come. Ouch! Good shot. <laughs> Good shot. It's time to fight. Kids here. Let's get her up to speed quickly. Hmm. Have they 
giving up. Oh, we got him back. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. It's hard to die. <clears throat> It seems like just one of our friends has decided <clears throat> to come over and say hi. Well, buckshot, no sir. Hmm. Not what I wanted. Where are his friends? Inca needs a little bit of combat here. She could certainly use the EXPs and level up to 14 to catch up with her sister, Greta. There's one. guys don't be afraid yes there he is Yeah, we shot him apart here. All right, guys. Last one. There they are. Okay. She'll take those EXPs and eat them up. 270 is something we enjoy. All right, now it comes to scrapping these guys up a little bit. 47. Well, those will go to Greta. Greta uses the Magnus. And so far, these guys have given us very little in the way of happiness. Come on now. 32 ACP rounds. Nice, not nice. Come on. There's a lot of them here. I don't know. Are they going to give us something with 32 ACP? Come on. One of us give us a health kit. No. It is not to be. Well, we will take those EXPs definitely. Oh, yes, but my friends, that is all the time we have for in our next episode. We will be finding out more and more about 
what is happening here in Sweden. We have a few main missions yet to get through. We're going to do those, and that will be done on our live stream. Now you guys need to tune in to Twitch if you like what you're seeing. We do it Mondays and Tuesdays, or Mondays and Wednesdays, forgive me, Mondays and Wednesdays, 4 to 7 Eastern Daylight Time. We do this playthrough. And for more of that, join us there on Twitch. And for more of this Generation Zero Tag Team playthrough, stay tuned. So all I have to say now is cheers, my friends. <laughs>